Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides an overview of the procedures and steps used to prepare a computer for a successful installation of Sage 50 accounting. Under most circumstances, installing Sage 50 accounting on a computer is a simple and pain free process. Sometimes, however, the condition of a computer's environment may create unexpected and unintended problems during and after a Sage 50 installation. So right before you install Sage 50 accounting on a computer system, whether it's a standalone system or the workstation or server for a multi-user network, it is highly recommended that you follow the easy steps outlined in this learning topic to help ensure a smooth installation. After completing this Anytime Learning topic, you will be able to verify system requirements, determine security privileges in Windows, temporarily disable antivirus scans during installation, and keep firewalls from blocking Sage 50 files. Before preparing for an actual installation, it's very important that you make sure that your computer meets or exceeds the system requirements list included with your Sage 50 package. If your system does not meet Sage 50's listed minimum requirements, your system will most likely have problems installing and or running Sage 50 accounting in terms of performance and stability. There are two system configurations listed with Sage 50's system requirements, the minimum requirements and the recommended system configuration. Minimum requirements mean that Sage 50 accounting will not run dependably if it is installed on anything less than the requirements specified. Having a system that at least matches the recommended system configuration will help ensure that Sage 50 accounting performs optimally. Windows provides a system information utility tool that can be used to determine many of your computer's current system specifications. You can use this tool to compare your system with Sage 50's system requirements. Let's take a look. In any supported version of Windows, you can access the System Information Utility by clicking the Windows Start button, selecting All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and then System Information. On the System Summary page of the System Information window, you can compare many of the system specifications listed on Sage 50 System Requirements list with your system, including the speed of your computer's processor and the amount of physical RAM installed in your system. Other system specifications can be found here too. For example, we can find information on a hard drive's available disk space. Let's click Components, Expand Storage, and then click on Drives. Make sure that the local disk drive you plan to install Sage 50 accounting on has at least the minimum free space listed with Sage 50's minimum requirements. So as you can see, Windows System Information Utility makes comparing your system specifications with Sage 50's system requirements an easy task. When you're ready to install Sage 50 on a system, the very first step you should take is to reboot your computer. As simple as it may sound, Rebooting a computer before installing a software program goes a long way in helping you avoid installation problems due to unstable programs left in your computer's random access memory. Rebooting your computer will clear all of these files from memory, speeding up the installation and minimizing the chance of installation problems. After rebooting, the next step to take is to log into Windows with local administrator rights. This user type is often named Computer Administrator or simply Administrator. The Windows user profile that you are logged into must have unrestricted system access when installing Sage 50 accounting. This is due to the nature of the installation process and how it needs to access and possibly modify areas of the system that are not accessible to users with restricted Windows rights. Here's an easy way to determine whether you have full rights to the system. In Windows, select Start and then run, or hold down your Windows key on your keyboard and then press the R key. The run window will appear. At the open field, enter control space user passwords and the number 2, no space, and press the OK button. If you currently have local administrative rights, a user accounts window will appear. You will most likely see your Windows profile ID in the list added to the administrator group. If you are able to access this window without restrictions, then you are currently logged in with full access to the system. If you do not have local admin rights, a password prompt will appear requesting administrator credentials. 
In this case, you will need to log out of Windows and log back in using an appropriate user profile. Once you have unrestricted access to the user accounts window, you may continue with the installation. If you are running an antivirus program, you should disable its auto protect feature before walking through the installation. Doing so will ensure that it does not accidentally quarantine various network enabled files installed with Sage 50 accounting. Overall installation time will decrease as well. Most antivirus programs provide an icon in the task tray when it's running. For example, this system is currently running an antivirus program. We can right click on the taskbar icon and select disable to disable the program's auto protect feature. Once Sage 50 has finished installing, we can then right click on the icon and re-enable the antivirus software. Finally, let's take a look at firewalls. Software firewalls running on the system should be made aware of the files that Sage 50 Accounting installs and allow them to run unrestricted. Otherwise, Sage 50 will not run as designed. Although Sage 50's installation process can automatically configure Windows built-in firewall, non-Microsoft firewalls must be manually configured to display an alert when a Sage 50 file runs for the first time on the system. The setting is usually located in the notification section of your firewall program's control panel. Ensuring that your firewall's alert setting is turned on prior to Sage 50's installation will help you make certain that all relevant Sage 50 files are added to the firewall program's safe list during the installation. As Sage 50 is installed, always select Allow on alerts that reference any of the files listed during the installation process. In the support and training section of Sage 50 and Sage Peachtree's product site, extensive firewall information is available that will help guide you through enabling alerts in your firewall program. Additionally, you can download a scanning utility that will scan your system and tell you what firewalls you have running. And that's it. Following this set of procedures will help ensure a quick and trouble-free installation of Sage 50 accounting. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to verify system requirements, determine security privileges in Windows, disable antivirus scans during installation, and keep firewalls from blocking Sage 50 files. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.